cash on me, like I hit the lottery. The lottery. Hoes a trip, watch on how they follow me. Hello, Heidi. Hi, if you're on video. Dixie. You like my new t shirt. How do you like lobsters for me? Charlie Grace. I mean, I never, I don't think it was even something that we really thought about. Like, I never said to myself, oh, I hope my daughter gets involved in BMX. I remember what happened. There was a, you know, I believe you were five years old, and there was a national BMX race. The national races go uh, different states every year, and it was a time that we had the, um, I think it was a Yankee BMX race in Trumbull, Connecticut, and we just decided to go up there for the day. And I remember you being five years old and just looking at the track and just staring me in my eyes and saying, Dad, I wanna do this. And we left the racetrack that day and went to a local bike shop and bought you your first bike. It wasn't only the racing, but like in our neighborhood, every kid in our local neighborhood had a BMX bike. And it was just a culture of, you know, riding around. There were kids that raced and we had a group of kids that actually competed and traveled around the country. But then there was also the culture of just waking up in the morning and the first thing you did was get on your bike and go all around town and go to other people's houses and go swimming, but the bike was just such a part of our our childhood and, and the culture and, and you know setting up jumps and racing around the, the neighborhood and building tracks. It was just all part of growing up as a kid in in Norwalk and in Connecticut. So it's awesome. <laughs> I think that I think separated BMX from other other sports. You know, I probably would be like, um, you know, maybe um, putting a tennis racket. You know, lacing up a tennis racket might be similar. But there's so much about fixing the bike and getting the gears set and making the bike right for you. 
that was just as much part of racing as anything. I, th I think when you were doing it, and when we were doing it, you know, I did race a couple of times. Uh, it, it, you know, it's, I enjoy it, but I enjoyed it more the fact that you were doing it and, and I was racing it. I don't have that fire in me anymore. Um, um, you know, I also have a lot more to lose. It's, it's probably a little bit dangerous for someone at my age to be doing it, but I think about it. You know, I think about should I start training again and, and, and practicing, but I still enjoy riding my bike. I mean, I still have a 24 inch BMX bike that's hanging in the garage that I take out when the weather gets nice and ride around. So I still, I still love it. I still, there's still something about pedaling the bike and going fast and being in control and using your own body to, to move the bike forward is, is something great about it. But as far as racing, I don't think I would do it again. Like what's wrong? I don't want to say it in a video. Wait, you don't feel? What's going on? I don't want to say it in a video. Did someone just bang my car? What the hell's going on? <laughs> Hi, Dixie. Good guys. That is not funny. <laughs> Dude, I give you 50 bucks if you go and say, sell a Michigan fan, Michigan sucks. Go. That's 50? 50 dollars? 50? 50? 50? 50? 50? 50? 50? 50? 50? 50? 50? Hey, look at, what do you think your first, is your first baseball game? No, it's not. Your first Yankee game? Yes. Sit back, relax, enjoy the ball. Hey, ladies, I'm Tino Martinez. Are you looking for a change in your workout? Hello. How about some coaching and Mama. from former players like me? You can put on the pin stripes just like the pros at the brand new New York. What's going on? <laughs> Hi. I'm okay. watching you. <laughs> I see that. Okay, the opening ceremonies were delayed a little bit, and here we are. Are you actually videoing? Yes, with Ladybug Girl. What's up, Ladybug Girl? I lost the lady. Uh, <laughs> mm. It fell. I don't know where it is. Dixie, so what are the chances you're going to win this thing? Really? A lot of people Yeah, I'm that good. Do you think you're the best at triathlons? No. <laughs> For your age group, do you think you're the best? Yeah, sort of. Maybe. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Dude, this is what I want you to do, okay? Do you think you're the best triathloner? No, no. Well, yeah, probably. Um, what? <laughs> what the heck are 